What's up? It, it doesn't matter how it how it happens, but it happens every time. <laughs> doesn't matter how it happened to you, it happens every time. They go rob him right there. That's Hey guys. What's going on? Nothing much. Let's give people some time to enjoy. How was y'all's day? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody must have had a holiday. Yeah. You know, honestly, overall, my day was good, but work related and then like other stuff, it's been a roller coaster. This daylight savings and full moon over the weekend, it has just been a whirlwind. So I'm glad to. Y'all are my breath for fresh air right now. <laughs> I would thank you. I yeah, that's sure. always, it always feels kind of hot. Like that day, this daylight saving time, you don't think it when you first hear that it's actually going to steal that hour. But then when you, I literally got in the shower about one, let's say about one fifty. When I got out, it was like three twelve. So that changed the whole <laughs> to my time. Of the shower, like what the? Huh? I like it. It make my work day go fast. No. Make your work day go fast. Mine went that, by fast. Yeah. Huh? Mine went by fast. My work day went by fast. It just threw me off. Trying to get my kid together this morning, like. Literally, like 30 minutes went by so fast. I'm like, girl, we're about to be late. We're like shooting out the house this morning and pitch black. <laughs> mm -mm. Then the rain didn't mm -mm. help. Mm -mm. Like, it's just been it's, happy Monday. It's, yeah, happy Monday. Happy Monday. I'm just saying, I ain't had to go to work. So it just, like I said, it caught me off guard. Reginald. And then, like I said, I still, people still calling me to go to the gym at the same time. I'm like, hey, you know, I got in the house at uh, one in the morning. This is not the same. Like go now. Let's get started. Get let's get started. What's going on, y'all? Y'all know what it is. It's the homeboys conversation. We got the beautiful Robin from Disaster Daily 101. How you doing? I'm excellent. How are you guys? I'm with the boys tonight. Just me. I'm the first lady. <laughs> first lady tonight. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. T, how you feeling? First of all, is we got the handsome gained up T here tonight. All right. <laughs> I love Hey, Robin, you might have to do the introduction next time. You know, play. <laughs> we got my homie, the, the, the world's best personal trainer, motivator, fitness expertise up here with me. You know, T, how you doing? That's the best I can get. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I like it. Okay, okay. I like it, too. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, the, that's how I can get you. That's, a, that's, how, that's how men compliment each other. Man, where you planning on going at? Like, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you got some plan this weekend? What's up? <laughs> uh, okay, let's get right into it. Smitty and Shay uh, met in college and was friends for the last, you know, for 10 years until now. Um, recently, Shay, you know, uh, basically told Smitty that she, you know, for years she had the biggest crush on him. And she actually wants to date him. Smitty basically declined, you know, was trying to be polite about it, but basically, you know, let her know that, you know, she wasn't his type and he wasn't interested. So my question to the panel is this. If you're interested in someone and basically comes on to them and they basically shoot you down and y'all been friends for however long, could you still be friends with them afterwards? Robin? Yeah, I can. And, you know, everybody has a personal preference. <laughs> it might be a little awkward, you know, because, like, I shared, like, okay, especially if it's been a long time that I felt this way, but, you know, at least I can respect the honesty, you know, part. Maybe, you know, maybe not the you're not my type type thing, but, <laughs> you know, let me down another way. But, yeah, I feel like we could be, it'll probably be different a little bit at first, but if we're friends, hopefully we can still remain friends. I, I've actually been in a situation like that, so... And we're still friends. Okay. Okay. Well, well, if it was again you, 
And the guy came on to you, and he's basically like, hey, you know, this, that, and the third, yada, yada, yada. And he's, let's say he's, like, every time he kind of see you, he mentioned it. Could y'all still be friends? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I go through this now. I live yeah. with male friends that have told me how they feel about me. I mean, one, and really, really strong. Consistently? Mm -hmm. and, and, okay. And, um... And, you know, at first it kind of was like, oh, and I'm like, why? In my mind, the bear pissing me. It's like, oh, that was so brave of you to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> the bravery. But, yeah, but then it, it's kind of like, you know, it be, does become because it's like, I don't see you in that light, you know? Like, I really mm -hmm. like our friendship and stuff. And it did become a little weird at first, but I knew our friendship outweighed, you know, everything. But it kind of was, I mean, still to this day, slapping, like, looking, listening, slabs in my DM, like, you know, kind of what's up? Like, let me know. But it's kind of a, and it's been decades. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> T, how you feeling? Um, yeah, we can still be friends. Am I the one that's? Am I the one getting shot down? You're you on both sides. Put yourself right, on both sides. If I'm, one, if I'm the one getting shot down, I just look at it like now I have a challenge in front of me. <laughs> I'm going to try to, I'm going to get it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to get what I want. It's going to happen. Um, and if I'm, if I'm not interested, uh, it won't be awkward. I'm, I mean, I'm not, it's not bothering me. I told you what it is. You know? that part. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So, so if every time she sees you, she constantly trying to like, you know, let you know, hey, you know, also, whenever you, whenever you, you know, turn, think about it. Yeah. Also, if she catch me with a nice, good, drunk night, <laughs> <laughs> no, why well, am I not surprised? Uh, okay. And you? Was that a reason? Right. Okay. Hey, reason. Hey, Ramarie. Um, with me, um, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be. Uh, it wouldn't be irritable, but I. I think in the back of my head, especially if she came on to me and I shot, because I it's hard for a guy never looks good when he shoots a woman down. It never goes. It don't. It don't come off so as hurt. polite. <laughs> yeah, it don't come off as polite. And you know, it's like no, no matter how easy <laughs> we do it, no matter how smoothly, it's going to always come off like we're just like a bad guy. It's never going to it's never going to be seen as sentimental. When a woman do it, it's like, bro, you should have just took the hint. You know what I'm saying? But when a man do it, it's like, oh, you can give her a shot. Like, you know, like, nah, I can't. Like, why why can't I have choices also? Why can't I have a preference? That's what it always no. makes it seem like. A man can never have a preference when it comes to stuff like that. No, I agree. Y'all can have preferences, but I do feel like, too, y'all will, like, tread lightly and try to go experiment, too. Like, oh, she liked me. Well, let me just, like, kind of entertain this for a little bit, even though she, you know, you might not have that interest. Like, I feel like y'all do such a great job of entertaining these females. And that is that. We do. I, I think we do. I think that's the, uh, but it's because it's it's like, I don't, I'm going to be honest. There's no easy way, if y'all, especially if you've seen her as a genuine friend, mm -hmm. there's no easy way to let her know, look, I'm not, I don't see you like that. It never, it, it's not as easy as it, people, you know, women will make it seem like, oh, you, you can just tell her whatever. Nah, I'm always going to be looked up as a jerk. Mm -hmm. That's, that's always going to be, and even if, I'm, especially if I'm blunt, when I basically just say, hey, look, nah, -uh. man, you, nah. Like just like the dude said, you're not my type. You gonna be considered a jerk. Like that was so harsh. She wasn't getting it any other way. Like, <laughs> but if a person tells me that they're not interested, I I can understand me not being everybody cup of tea. You know, everybody don't like a tall, attractive, you know, uh, educated, intelligent brother like myself. I mean, <laughs> everybody don't like that. Everybody don't like a smooth, <laughs> a smooth <laughs> bitch, you know. How, everybody don't, everybody don't like that. that. No. Riz, this for you. you uh, how do you, how do men even become friends with females? Because I'm not gonna lie. Like when I become friends with a female, like I'm saying, like in the beginning, you know, when when dudes 
to become friends, like say you in the gym with a dude, you know, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up? Then y'all end up being friends. But with a, a male and a female, let's say you you looking at her physical first, and then y'all might speak, and then you know y'all become cool. But is it always like that type of attraction first before y'all become friends? Like, do she gotta like, like be appealing to the eye first or something? That's what I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say, but you get it? I, I know, yeah, yeah. Um, for me, I don't know because I am what's that? Psychosexual. Mm -hmm. So what, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, Robin? That's it. That's the word. I am. Why you shook your head? That's the truth. Like it's. Oh my eye, you just everything. <laughs> I'm just saying because I do like a, a good conversation, and if we can conversate, that can, yeah, 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 that that could be be my appeal. But at the same token, you know, it it you t you understand this as a guy. There are women thing, that you might meet, huh? This is my thing. You you're savior sexual, right, or whatever you said, right? <laughs> yeah. What made you decide to talk to her? Because mm -hmm. if she was like. Terrible looking, you probably wouldn't even go find out if she had a, a nice personality or whatever. But let's let's take there are women that that speak to me at the gym that might I I, I have I've been in this gym at really? times where women yeah yeah where woman has that's said my stuff. Up, but she probably think you handsome and that's the first thought like oh he handsome yeah. or you know what I'm saying let me go say something to him I'm telling you <laughs> if you was ugly or not that attractive she probably but, wouldn't pay you no mind. That's what I'm saying. The first thing we see, or the first, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it's unless, somebody it's that, that, that. unless somebody else introduce you and you become cool. Yeah. But if it's just you on your own, I, nine times out of ten, you probably not even going to say nothing to somebody that's unattractive, even if it's just to become yeah. friends. You know what I'm saying? You're not Because you're not really going to pay them no attention. Yeah. That's just well, that's just the reality of it to me. Yeah. Like, I know it's vain, it sounds vain and everything, but I but think no, it's the truth. I think you're right. Somebody call me shallow today. Like, my male friends, you know, and kind of how we hit it off. It has been like, oh, like for me, it really has been like, oh, they're good looking or they're attractive, you know? And then it might not have gone that way. Like, you know, we might have crossed the line, but that has been my intent in mind. Like, oh, let me get to know. And then I like to hold a good conversation too. So then it's like, all right, you know, you stimulate me intellectually wise. Now, like, what do you always talk about, Reggie? Those boxes. Now I'm placing you in a box, like a category. That's what I was about to say. Now, see, <laughs> you're rubbing off on me. I want to place you in my category of a box. Like, okay, we're going to be friends. Or if I want to pursue something with you, you know, when I say pursue, like, do I want to make a move? Do I want to flirt? Can I see this going a little bit further? But I agree with you, T. For me and mine, I have had an element of attraction. And I'm going to keep it 100 because my guy friends are very good looking you know i mean i they're they're attractive but have i crossed the line with any of them no because i've established a boundary of where this is just gonna mm -hmm. be friends but i agree with you yeah because t you you understand that as a man like she just said you you establish you 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 know you end up having conversation with a person and you let's say that you see a woman and you like oh she cool and your first mindset, especially as men, we think sexual first. I don't care what nobody say. We don't look at you in the first thing. We think you're going to be our wife and be the mother of our kid. We think if we physically attracted to you, boom, we, we have a conversation. And then when we get with you and talk to you, we might turn like, man, she cool as a mother. Like, mm -hmm. like I, I, I want to get to know her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or we might get to talk to her and be like, she's a freaking dean bag. <laughs> I still knock her down, but that's the far as I go. See, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we do that. See, yeah, but that's how y'all think for real. I'm glad that you're being honest because y'all will think with that that's, down there. That's sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we, that's well, what, when, I, when I told She uh, can't think with that up there. So why, why we can't think with that down there? That's a switch. Exactly, yeah. exactly. exactly. But again, like, even for the topic, Smitty and Shake met in college. So they could have met in some type of class, yeah. met in some type of event. You know what I'm saying? They could have met in different different ways. So, you know, in this day and age, you can meet at work. Like, I got a lot of, like, female co-workers at work, stuff like that. So, yeah, it's other Every, ways. I was just asking genuinely. Uh -huh. I wasn't really asking because of the story. I just was asking, like, in general. Yeah. I just okay. thought about it when you were talking, and I just wanted to know. No, that's, that's, okay. That's, 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 
No, that's a valid one, you know, and like I know Ron and Regan just said too, if sometimes it doesn't matter like being the attraction, just the environments that you can just naturally like you said, Reggie, how you're you're a talker. I mean I'm a talker too, but you know, just conversation and then you're just like, Oh, this person's cool. I wanna genuinely get to know them a little bit better and, you know, finish this conversation and then you know, mm -hmm. I mean, we can't hide feelings. Sometimes, like, they met each other in college, and then he evolved, it evolved. Like, she said years, I think you said, yeah. that she had, like, to Yeah, know, to years, evolved. yeah. Because yeah, it might have get, finally gave her confidence after some yeah. time of saying, yeah. let me just make a, let me just make a move. Yeah. Well, yes, look. In my environment, ain't I make sure it's good-looking people around, because I ain't talking to nobody ugly at my job. I don't even talk to you. They think I'm made as shit out of my job. That's respectful. <laughs> Subject is right here. <laughs> but they say no comments to you. Ugly, that's why they ain't talking to me. Shit. I'm an ass. <laughs> I'm like, you think I'm ugly? That's why y'all ain't talking to me. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Robin just said, well, Robin just basically read a uh, rhyme and reason comment. Um, Avery laughed. But uh, before he laughed, he said, uh, yeah, we can still be friends. Uh, he been, uh, I guess he got cooler with females after that. Um, then he said, uh, it get weird when we do it. He commenting on when you uh, was saying men can't really say they not trying to, you know, mess with them or whatever. Yeah. So he said it get weird when we do it. Yeah, yeah it do get weird. It do, it do get real weird when we do it. It just, it just seems it like it's out of pocket at this point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, always Josh, always gives a lot of likes. Okay, well, I'm going to watch it. All right. All right. So, Jason and Tammy uh, uh, met in Instagram. Tammy actually slid in Jason uh, DM, basically said, you know, hey, I think you're attractive, this and the third. Jason took over from there. <laughs> they date for about four months. What's the joke? <laughs> no, I think so I was about to just get to a point to have me think. Okay. <laughs> when when the women slide in the man's DM, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. First thing that come to our mind is, oh, she trying to let me hit. It's not, oh, she trying to get to know me. It's not, oh, she think I'm a nice person. It's, oh, she trying to let me hit. She trying to let me bang. Uh, okay. So so Tammy slides in Jason's DM, basically told him she was he was attractive. Woo -woo. Jason took some over from there. You know, they started dating for about four five months. After a few months, like after the four or five months, they basically made it official. Mm. Like, hey, look, you my person, yada, mm. about five months. It said, you know, you my person, yada, yada, yada. They kind of, you know, start sticking it out. About uh, about a few weeks after that being in, um, Tammy was out actually walking um, past the restaurant. She was at work doing a lunch break, and she actually seen Jason in there, what appears to be a date. Later on that day, she didn't want to act up because she was actually like uh, with some co-workers taking a stroll. Later on that day, when she talked to Jason, she said something about it. She went straight at it. He basically told her this was somebody I kind of was dealing with off and on. And, you know, I basically was cutting it off with her. She basically was like, no, I'm done with you. This, that, and the third. So he's like, nah, just give me a chance to explain. We was old friends. We, we kind of go in and out. This, that, and the third. So after some time of, of convincing, so she basically asked him, is it anybody else? And he was honest. He was like, yes. So she like, listen, I don't think I can trust you this and third. He like, you need to give me time to cut people off. You, I, man, you jumped into this relationship. I feel like I need a grace period because some of these people been in my life for years. So my question to y'all is this. Do y'all think it's sufficient to give a person a grace period when y'all establish a real relationship. T, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. And you know what? That's genius. I never thought of that because people just seem to assume that as soon as they start talking to you, you haven't been talking to anybody your whole life. Just the first human being you ever met. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you establish things with others. You know what I'm saying? You might not. It might not even be a relationship, but you establish feelings and things like that. You need to let let them know, like, listen, we can't deal with each other anymore. And the person who you're doing this for should be flattered. They should be mm -hmm. honored that you're doing this. And it's also letting them know if it don't work out with them, that you, you know what I'm saying, are respectful enough to cut them off in a nice way or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I 
never thought of that grace period stuff. You know, people yeah. just ghost people. Yeah. You know, they just stop calling them what they're dealing with. But that mm -hmm. right there, that's that's good, right? I like that right there because you know what? He can always just spin the bed again if times get hard. He got to leave. T, how long should the grace period be? You got about a good week or two, two weeks. Two weeks? You got two, two weeks. weeks to clear your roster? <laughs> yeah, you got two weeks. Depending on how many people you was talking to before you was dealing with me, you got a good two weeks. Okay, okay. Robin? You know what? I agree. As a female, you know, I respect him for saying that because a lot of people aren't being that forthcoming nowadays. You know, and I can respect, you know, of course, I can see her, like, getting upset and jumping to conclusions, but the fact that he's like, look, you know, I feel time, and she probably clearly came after because she slid into the DM, so I think, like, mm -hmm. yeah, two weeks max, clear it, you know, out, let people know, but I really would give him the kudos to, like, I know you really rock with me, you know, even though we've made this, you know, exclusive and stuff, but and you're right, see, people expect that you don't have anybody. Everybody's got options, you know? Mm -hmm. Everybody has something. Even if you haven't acted on it sexually, there's somebody that you're talking to that has been in your presence, whether it's your DM, your phone, you've spent time with getting to know. So I, I really commend the honesty, and that's the thing, communication. We lack communication as people nowadays and people being mm -hmm. upfront and honest. So kudos yeah. to him. Reggie? Yeah. Um, I agree. I totally agree. I agree that you I man, let me say this. I don't I don't have a problem like let's say if we date if I meet somebody and we're dating serious. And let's say a month later happens and some dude called you. And y'all, you know, we we know as the age we at now that people might hit you. You haven't talked to this person in a year and this person might hit you up out of nowhere. Hey, how you doing? Blah blah blah. Now I'm not the type that I'm going to lash out. If I find out, like, some dude send you a random, you know, uh, uh, hey, how you doing? What's up? Can we go hang out? Because that might have been the nature of y'all relationship. Mm -hmm. um, you know, y'all basically hook up. And, hey, can we go hang out? What's up? You want you want to do this, that, and third? Now, if I was to see, let's say I was to see this text, like, oh, who's there? I would respect you saying, hey, look, this somebody, you know, from months ago. We kind of hit it, you know, this and the third. You know, I the problem that I hate, don't tell me you ain't just ignore yeah. Because that's saying that he's not going to know what the deal is with y'all, and then he's going to circle back around. He been like, you ain't get his text. He might call now. Now you create a problem. Right. All, I don't even think you, you don't even need to be mean or angry with him. Just say, hey, look, you know, uh, sorry, we can't do that no more. I'm in a situation. You know, I remember dating a woman before. And again, we literally just... Like, we will hook up this and third. She ended up buying a house out Baltimore. I did have a problem with driving out <laughs> Baltimore to see a woman. Okay. Not Baltimore I like Baltimore. No offense to huh? Baltimore. I said, you love a Baltimore girl, but no offense to those people. <laughs> I had a problem. So, so when Banana talked and she was like, I was like, look, I was like, I can't come to your house, woman. I said, I can send you a gift this and third, but I said, maybe another time, you know, one of these weekends or something. And she said, next time, she hit me with this. She said, next time if I'm having something, I'll let you know. I said, do it. Now I'm trying because I'm like, that threw me off. I said, do it got to be next time you're having something? She said, yeah. She said, uh, you know, I am, I'm going to just be straight up with you. I'm kind of dealing with somebody now. So it will have to be a meeting. I said, okay, I can respect that. But, I, but, it, but it was the respectful way of doing it. Like, you know. I don't like those words. Situation, kind of. Because... I've been on the other end of those words. And those words don't deter me. Situation don't deter me. <laughs> Boyfriend, husband, that deters those me. You know what I'm saying? I, you want to know what it is? That means it's, possible, it's a possibility. Like, you kind of in, kind of in a situation? Okay. Well, guess what? I'm kind of getting in the middle of it. I'm trying <laughs> to... It's, but it don't sound like you're you committed. Yeah, because, that, because that, that might not be... Um, um, it's like... I'm meeting somebody. I'm pursuing. Man, this person is like getting a feel for each other. It's not etched in stone, but I don't want nobody to come in and kind of like mess up what we got going. I don't. Some people, hold up to you, some people might feel like I only got time for one person at the particular time. And if I give any of the time to a guy who's not really trying to pursue me, then the guy who's trying to pursue me is going to lack, and which is going to pull away, and which is going to cause. Me not to get what I'm ultimately trying to get, which was a relationship at that time, which I wasn't trying to give her because I didn't tell you to move out more. 
That's just my thing. It presents a challenge for me. <laughs> Don't use those words. Don't use those words. <laughs> I can get it. I get it. Just, but like I said, you know, uh, be specific. Be direct. Okay. But 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 again, I have no problem when people again, uh uh like I said, if if it would have happened to me and you just feel like, you know, I'm just letting them know, you know, I'm dating right now. You know, we can't hook up or whatever, you know, blah, blah. We can, we can all be mature about this. I think people see that and get, like, have a problem with it. On the back end, like, uh-uh, why not be texting your phone all of a sudden? Why you ain't let her know the day that we commit? Listen, I didn't find everybody in my phone list and just, like, let them know I was in there. What are you talking about? Give me give me some time. Now that she re resurfaced, I can let her know. Like, hey, you know, I'm dating somebody. I'm in a committed relationship now. Like, that's, that's it. But people don't allow you that grace period. They think you're supposed to do it instantly, yeah. and everybody's supposed to be gone. I said a lot in them comments, T. I hope you can catch up. <laughs> that. Anderson the company said, I'm going through that now. I haven't cheated at all. Uh, damn it. I'll be fucking up. My, I mean, messing up. My fingers, big. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I got to scroll back up. Chef Marley said, yes, they need time, but also you need to let the person know what you are doing. Tata Ellen said uh, that she said, yes, but time better be gone fast. Then she said two weeks good. Tokyo said two weeks wide. I, I think she meant to put tops instead of the wide. Anderson Company, true. Chef said facts. Rhyme and Reason agreed with, Rob, with Robin. Um, Anderson and the Company said, listen to her, run, leave. <laughs> Rhyme and Reason said, "Yes, Reyes, I keep, I completely agree. I don't have room for you if you're not if you're if I'm pursuing someone else." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm crazy. Okay, I keep telling right along. I'm crazy. You crazy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you not believe me? It's oh, I believe you. you know. <laughs> you got a tracking device on Amazon. <laughs> you got an air tag. It's mm -hmm. like <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Angie and Lester have been dating for two years. Um, Lester keep telling Angie he she do a lot of stuff that irritates him. If it, it's, it's inappropriate, this, that, and the third. She's very touchy Philly, and he hates when they out in public that she always seems to squeeze on his butt, um, <laughs> grabbing on his chest, do all these like things that he just feel like stop. Like she will go, he said she will go as far as to grab, you know, the front of him like in public, like just just for play. So he said he had a trick for her. One night her family gave a game night with games, cars, and this and the third. He said all through the night, he squeezed on her butt, went and kissed her on her neck. She kind of rushed him all, but he said he'd done it so obsessively. He said eventually she got upset at him and yelled. After they went home, she get the, she's so angry and she's lashing out at him. And he said, that's exactly how I feel when you do it to me. As I told you, it irritates me. She begins to call him petty and feel like she, he still shouldn't have done it. So my question to the panel is this. Y'all can answer the question whether uh, either one of them was right or wrong. But is it petty to sometimes show the person that you're with how it feels by actually doing something they actually did in a small manner? I'm not talking about cheating to cheat. I'm saying <laughs> in manners like that. Robin? Look, I'm I'm the queen of petty. Usually I'm like, two wrongs don't make a right. But like, I'm, if I'm trying to communicate to you about what it is, then I need to show you. I can literally, somebody just said in the comments, I can show you better than I can tell you. And that is me. Mm -hmm. And now you get the feeling. See how you don't like it? That's how I feel. It's a teachable moment. You know, mm -hmm. and hopefully she takes, you know, heed. So be petty in that aspect. <laughs> okay. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> you just agree? Yeah. yeah. Um, I was once told that I'd done something petty, and I actually, and I, and I called a friend, and I was like, hey, this petty, and he said, man, you're, you're never petty about what makes, like, what upsets you. He said, you can never be petty about something that upsets you, because she felt like what she was doing, what he done was petty, and the stuff that he was mad about was petty. He said, you're not, you, you can never be mad, you can never be petty about what makes you mad. 
So I agree. I feel like, you know, let me show you better than I can tell you. That way you can see how I feel. Because evidently, verbally, you're not getting it. So I'm trying to show you by saving this relationship, by, by hoping that you see that what you're doing is making me uncomfortable. Yeah. And I think that sometimes if I got to go that far, you might be, you might should be more worried about the relationship. Because I see that you're not listening and I'm not being heard. Yeah. Huh? You took it a step above, though. They, she do it in public with people they don't really know. He did it while her family around. Her father probably was right there. He grabbed her <laughs> ass and all that. So, you know what I'm saying? That was funny. Nah, that was a little extra. That was because extra. I, I, because I need, I need you to feel it. it. Yes. And be uncomfortable and everything. Feel it in whatever environment. But now she got, but now she got, she got weapons for her arsenal when she coming at you. She can say, yeah, I do that, but I don't do it in front of your family, this, that, and the third. She could use that but against I, him. But here's the thing. He 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 knew that in front of her family she would feel uh, uh uncomfortable. She might then feel like because if she went in the door to him outside and he felt uncomfortable, I need to put you in a situation where you feel yeah. uncomfortable. Exactly. It wasn't about doing it just to show that it bothers me. It's about putting you in an uncomfortable situation. And to him, yeah. that was an uncomfortable situation no matter where is that. So yeah. that's, I think that was his main focus is making her uncomfortable doing those type of gestures. Yep. See? Uh, Ryan Reese said, sometimes you can show him better than you can tell him. Sheriff Molly said, no. Chef Molly said, you can show him better than you can tell him. She said the same thing as Ryan and Reason. Then Chef Marley said, you don't want to listen. I'm going to get you to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Lala, Lala said, so did anything change? What was the outcome? Um, I didn't get a whole story. I kind of I kind of got a glimpse of the story and didn't hear. It, it was more so people be asking on certain pages, and I just take the story from the page. Uh, Ryan Reason said, yeah, don't disregard my feelings, and then turn around and be mad when I do the same thing to you. And then she was telling me the discomfort is the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Chef, Chef said there's a way to do PDA where your partner is comfortable and it sounds like she is insecure. She needs folks to see it's her man. Mm -hmm. Lala said mm -hmm. if y'all in public anyone can see you see you don't know who he knows that's watching. Yeah. And yeah. that's it. Okay. okay. Alright. So me and a close friend was having a conversation just recently. And we were talking about answering people's phone. So she made a statement as if um, she answers her coworkers' phone from time to time. I think I even said, well, most of your coworkers are women. And she said, no, sometimes there are males in my office, this and third. And if he was to leave his phone and it's going off, I would answer. I said, oh, that's inappropriate. She said, so you telling me none of your coworkers got any phone? I said, heck no. I said, at times, I do leave my phone places, like in my, while I'm at the depot, and I, I got my phone sitting down charging. I said, none of my coworkers, that not answering my phone. I said, I'm going to have a problem with that. I said, what's the deal? Like, just say, hey, you know, he's gone to the bathroom this and third. But I said, I don't care what you think, but <laughs> ain't no female going to be okay with anybody other female answering their mate phone. Maybe if it's of the same sex, they wouldn't have a problem. But of the opposite sex, they're going to be living. So my question to the panel is this. Robin, I'm going to start with you. Do you answer co-workers' phones? No. And would you have a huge problem if a co-worker of the opposite sex, opposite sex especially answers your phone at work? Yeah, like respect my boundaries, respect my space, don't touch my stuff. Like... I'm not answering no phone. If anything, if I see your phone is ringing over there, your phone ringing or vibrating or whatever, don't don't touch my stuff because we're going to have an issue. We're going to have a whole issue. That's all I got to say about this. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> T, can a coworker answer your phone while you up there breaking up a fight and somebody calling you? <laughs> it's not a question for me. Because I don't leave my phone around people. <laughs> you don't leave me either. <laughs> they better not touch my phone. Touch that, they ain't gonna touch my phone. I don't care if it's the opposite sex, the same sex. Anybody. None of that. Don't answer my phone. Why would you even want to answer my phone? 
Like, I don't even like people enough for you to feel comfortable answering my phone. So, it's definitely yeah. going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Um, I was, when I'm arguing, because I agree with both of y'all. And she, and to her, she's like, that's kind of, she made it seem like I was weird or something because I'm like, no. I'm like, don't touch my phone as a coworker, not a, and I'm with you, T. Not my male coworkers, and definitely not a female coworkers. No, and I have some female coworkers that we are close, we are really cool, but that don't mean you get to answer my phone. Like you can see my phone if it's on a charger, like I said, and it's beside you, and you decide to like click it to shut it off or it wouldn't keep ringing or something like that. I, I can say okay, you might you could be doing something like that, but don't just feel like oh, hey, he he went to the bathroom. I'm gonna tell him to call you back. <laughs> like what? They're never going. They don't, at that point, especially if it's like, you know, as a bus driver, we have splits. Especially if it's like doing my layover. She's like, nah, -uh, you could have been over that B house and all this type of, what is it? I know you heard people in the background. I didn't. Maybe I got a screen. Nah, that could be an old picture. You just sent me that you <laughs> Y'all just came back from the house. Like, it would never, it would never go that simple. So, I definitely was like, it's a no for me. That's crazy. See? She she got problems. Um, <laughs> you know, she got problems. Like she don't know about space and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -mm. Um, everybody saying very inappropriate and whatnot. But uh, Lala said they gotta have some type of liking to each other. Um, let me see. Okay, Ao said, "Nah, we don't play them games." Uh, Ryan Reason said, don't touch anything of mine without my permission. I'm not touching nobody else's shit either. I would, damn, uh, to, uh, Tokyo, <laughs> if that don't jump, I barely want to do it with permission. <laughs> See, I would just call T. What you mean you will just call me? Me? What's T? Yeah, what you trying said, to say? She's saying say if you was right there and if it was your phone. Oh. Like, if it, if it was right there and it was your phone, she would just call you and be like, hey, you know, your phone oh, ring. Yeah. Which I think is the most appropriate thing to do. Yeah, like, like, hey, like, hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. But like I said, oh. I keep my phone on, so I ain't worried about it. Okay. Now you got to go, go to work tomorrow and tell everybody, if I sit my phone and I don't touch my shit, <laughs> I was just talking about <laughs> I'm making sure, I'm making sure uh, y'all is a habitual line stepper. <laughs> Chef said that. She said that the lady a line stepper. And I meant to say a habitual line stepper. stepper. <laughs> habitual line stepper. Yeah. So that's that's the whole thing. Like, hey, it's gonna be funny if the mom we or next week we come over here and everybody say, Do you know one of my coworkers that answer my <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Like I told y'all, man, people be going out these days. Like I don't I wouldn't I don't been in the car and Red's done stepped out the car and his phone ring. I ain't never answered this man's phone. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're like, who does that? And we friends. And that's yeah. my best friend. I'm like, this man phone. He might not even want to talk to the person. Okay. That that's the part that she that she missed. Like, probably don't. I don't want to know the person. What's name? I don't want that person that like know anything about me. Yeah. Uh. -uh. Lala, Lala said, "Why do him some money?" Lala, Lala said, "Why do an MF -er even care enough to tell him a, a MF -er that their phone ring?" They'll see it when they see it. Agreed. That's true, too. <laughs> Mind your damn business. Because you know if they tell you your phone ring, they probably looked at the screen see who calling. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's hey, that no girl on the phone. I don't know. you like, <laughs> Okay. Um, Tyson uh, went out with a woman for about three weeks. He actually cut it off after a few weeks. They got into a petty argument at the restaurant. You know, he basically said, man, you know, really, this is not working out for me. You know, I'm going to just, let's just go out of separate ways. Pay for the bill they left. A few weeks later, the woman called him back, said, I'm going to give you some time to actually calm down and get yourself together. But I, I didn't think the argument was that big enough a deal for us to stop talking after a few weeks. He sat there and finally confessed. He said, man, I'm going to be honest. I was looking for either a reason to go our separate ways or a spot. He said, I didn't get it. He said, I was looking. He said, I went out with you. He said, there's nothing wrong with you or something. He said, you're very successful. You're very beautiful. But I didn't get the spot that I was looking for to continue to pursue the relationship. So my question to you is this. Have you ever been in a situation to where you was in the middle of the road with a person 
And it was either a light bulb was going to go off for you to stay or wait for them to do something bad for you to just break it off. T? No. <laughs> no. Um, I, don't I, was, I don't think I was in the middle of the road with nobody. I mean... Yeah. I'm always at, I'm either at the end of the road or the beginning of it. I, it ain't no middle of the road for me. So it's like, so if nah, you I don't think go I'm out with a, If you go out with a woman, it's either cut straight off if you're not feeling it or, you know, continue to pursue it. Yeah. It's, it's either okay. that. It's one or the other. Not no okay. other undecided. What should I do? Hey, Rez, what should I do, man? <laughs> should I? <laughs> hey, we're not even going. If I'm in the middle of the road, we're not even going out. Cause I'm not spending my money on middle of the road. You know that, Red. We are not even going out. I do. <laughs> I do. Robin. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it to a crossroad. Like, if, <laughs> you know, no or I don't. And then it's just like, yeah, I gotta cut you. But to your point too, like there wasn't a spark. And I know you and I talk about this too. You, good person, but just not right for me or good for me. Mm -hmm. You know and leaving it where, you know, it's at. But I know, for me, too, I'd be a ghoster. I'm honest, you know, so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> you? Um, I, I, I honestly, I've, I've been... I, I can say i kind of been in those situations to where I wanted to see, was it me? Was it the timing? Was it the date? You know, because sometimes, you know, even as a guy, we can be kind of moody sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can I can go out on a date almost not really wanting to, like the person like, hey, let's, you know, let's like let's have a meet and greet or something like that. And you go out on a date not really feeling it. So I'm not really feeling my best to be sociable. Mm -hmm. You go out anyway and you're trying to figure out, is it me? Was it me that day or was it the person? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I've been there. I've actually been on a date where I was like, uh, I see. I go. I go out again just to kind of gauge. You know who who was. You know was it just we just ain't had no energy. But yeah, I've been there, and and I don't think I look. I think the worst thing in the and just like Robin said, I, I could be a ghoster. I don't. I I just don't never feel like I could tell you you're not for me, and it just be. <laughs> so yeah. See, chef. Yeah. Yep, all the signs kept showing me run like it was like it was fire in the beginning. And then his crazy side started to show. He got on one knee to tell me he likes me and then started talking crazy when I said, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Anderson and company said, I've never been in the middle of the road. She gets upset once a week, leave, come back. It's crazy, but I deal with it because I love her. Oh, you in that situation right now, brother? You know this is a, a, a licensed therapist on here. Uh, that, need somebody to talk to. That she's Not she's that. a licensed psychotherapist, and she's registered in, in Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. She got her own clinical practice. Yeah. She's a licensed psychotherapist. You got to say the psychotherapist. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what's what is your what's name, Robin? Like, don't you have a company with that? Like. You had to get an LLC so for your, your... I'm working on my LLC. So I do work, Um, so I've got, you know, my main gig or whatever. Right. So any of y'all got kind okay. of concerns, come find me. Um, yeah. But I do have, yeah, I've just, I have uh, private. So I'm on BetterHelp as well. And then I'm about to start another one that's in D.C. Um, I start that on the, on the 27th of this month. So I'm out here getting all my coins. Oh, okay, okay. Girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So y'all got... Oh, go on. Go ahead. What you want to say? No, no. Did they say something to comment? Mm. Lala said, I have a problem with seeing the potential in people and still trying to make it work, even when I know deep down the person is not for me. Rhyme Reason said, I'm going to make sure I'm not tripping, but when it's time, I'm out. Mm. I said, yes, she's the best in Black Girl Magic. That was dedicated to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So again, if y'all need a licensed psychotherapist, she's already at Kaiser. She did. She about to get her license. Oh, she got her license. DC, Merlin. Come check her out. You, you, you see, she, she know what you're talking about. Yeah, that I'm working. yeah, and she got her own private property. Yeah, yeah. Okay, T. This next one, when I seen it, I literally bust out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you're gonna laugh after you hear. 
It was an anonymous post. The guy went, went out with a woman. Yeah, yeah. You know it's anonymous. It's about to be crazy. So the guy went out with a woman, and he <laughs> actually uh, went out. He said the date was amazing. The date was awesome. This and the third said they had a wonderful time, laughing and joking. The the dude was just basically like the woman was amazing. Later on in the night, he just couldn't uh, get over her features. She had it looked like she had some surgery done. Whether it was a mommy makeover, BBL, he's like, but she was also gorgeous. Just later on, as he began to think about it, you know, he waited to actually got home and they having a conversation, and he basically asked her, "You're not a man, are you?" He said <laughs> because he said because he said I'm gonna be honest, your body was sculpted like a transgender. He said you're beautiful and all, but certain features just stuck out because she. Curse the mouth. Why would you ask me that? She started calling them all types of homosexuals, saying you must be gay if that's the case, because you still went out this, that, and the third. She basically said she did have certain surgeries done, but she also said she was in an accident to where certain features on her, like even her face, she had to get redone as far as her nose and cheekbones. So some of her features were that of plastic surgery, which we, we know. So, of course, they never done nothing else, but he wanted to know, was he wrong for asking the question? T, you know why I asked you this, but <laughs> I'm going to start with you. He should have asked that in the beginning. He should have asked that in the beginning. He should have asked that in the because he should have went on a date right. if he thought that. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know me, we'll be walking down the street, and I see somebody I'm like, man, that looks like somebody's uncle. All right, don't look at that. That look like a dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, you know I'm going to say it. If I, think it's, if, it, if I think it's a brother, I'm going to say, hey, that's a brother or another. But it's something. Yeah, yeah. Robin, do you think you should have asked the question? Oh, my. Where do you get these stories from? Oh, my God. Hey, when I say, what's her name? Uh, uh, Zane, Z Zane Pages oh. and them old strawberry letters, people tell their most intimate secrets oh. about this stuff. I'm like, what the world? I Well, maybe the girl is unattractive or something like that. I go around there, and I, the woman come up, and she speaks. She say, hey, how you doing, boo, this and third. We walk back around the corner. I said, T, that's a man. <laughs> he said, right, right, right. I said, I said, let me say this. I said, I don't truly know, but if we got a question, <laughs> yep. I said, no. I like, I you know that. that. <laughs> yeah, I feel the like, was like, you know, I'm like, I'm like, Rez. I think this is a man. I was like, just, like just I'm like, I don't think the person would try to do that to me, but I think yeah. that's a nigga. And if I feel mm -hmm. like that, it is. I ain't messing with it. I said, I'm leaving that yeah. alone. I'm gonna leave that yeah. situation alone. Yeah. Exactly. I was like, yeah, like I said, I don't know, but hey, hey, you know. Oh. I was gonna ask his last question. Well, I think I have time for it. Nah, I think I'm gonna wait till next week for the last <laughs> question. They, but y'all hey, know funny. what they said oh, this time. Now, no, go ahead. They, uh, hold on. Damn, they, they was writing a lot. I got, they got, you got a lot of time. Oh. <laughs> Lala. Lala talks of my love. It's a snapping turtle. <laughs> 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 and then Anderson would come and say, what do, uh, what do some surgeries mean? He, uh, was he right? You explained that part, though. Um, Chef said, definitely asked in the beginning. And he definitely should have asked before 
uh, taking her home, red flags. Exactly, yeah, exactly. I don't think he took her home. I think he went home and uh, he went home and uh, called her. Like he oh. took the phone. He didn't ask her face to face. Uh, Ryan Marie, yeah, yeah. If I'm questioning it. I'm not in my mind. I'm not going there. And then yeah. a chef said, "That's a boy, Damon." And then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and oh. said, if it looked like a blank, it's a blank. Oh. <laughs> okay. she, yeah, yeah, she yeah. Still red flags. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all know what time it is. It's time for the dating one hundred and one car game. If y'all haven't, if y'all haven't went to the dating one hundred and one car page to order y'all deck, y'all truly missing out. These card games will truly help you in your dating life, help you when you're going out for dates, help you even in your sex life. You know, people keep thinking sex is not a biggest thing that can turn a person off. Go to the Dating 101 card game and order your deck. We also just finished our fourth deck. Dating 101 card game bottles up. Yeah. It's a fun game for couples, friends, date nights where y'all can laugh and joke. Trust me. Me and Siobhan done our thing with these. Like, y'all gonna y'all gonna enjoy the dating one-on-one card game bottles up. But like we always do at this time, because it's a special night, I feel like we got time. I feel like we can go to the old and the new. Do y'all do y'all feel like that? Y'all think we do can it. pull one from both that? Let's do it. All right, you know. I'm gonna I'm pull one from I'm gonna pull one from the old deck first. No, I, let me say, let me look at these cards. I'm sitting there, they all travel well. A gift set. A gift set. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and, me and, let me say this. Me and Siobhan has been talking about finding a gift set for a person can order at, at this point all four for a cheaper yeah. price. Right. I, I guess we can find a way to kind of figure out, you know, um, um, you know, how we can kind of like mix them up or something like that. We can find the best ones, I guess. You know, maybe maybe T, Robin, y'all both had the deck, so y'all can actually tell us which ones would be better for us to put in all three decks. Yeah, but I, I definitely mentioned it to Siobhan. Okay. 10%. Yes. Okay. This is, this is 10%. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start with this one. 101 questions you should ask yourself. Now, even though I feel like Siobhan done a very good job with these and it's about asking yourself before you go on a date, I still feel like it will be helpful to uh, 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 ask your partner. I think I've asked this the last time. time. I'm, not, I'm not totally for sure. Robin, you was on here, so I'm going to ask you first just so if you remember. What am I expecting my partner to provide in my next relationship? Mm. I guess we did. She no, don't like these type of questions. And just, you know, being there for me. You know, I always feel, and I always go, like, I feel like sometimes on my rants, too, and just because I, you know, in my profession, I'm always there for somebody, for people. You know, that's my profession. I'm being there, being compassionate, being empathetic and stuff, and I'm just looking forward to get that back, too. Like, for that person to be my overall safe space, and not safe space, like, in making me feel comfortable, yes, I want that too, but being there for my emotional, physical, um, you know, my overall needs, like really taking, being attentive and being more intentional with me, you know, in, 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 in that aspect and what I'm looking for. I mean, I'm a confident person too, but I definitely want the validation too. Like, babe, you're doing a good job. Babe, I'm proud of you because I know I give it too, you know. Men, y'all want to be validated and appreciated, but us females do too, you know, so to hear that sometimes like positive affirmations. Robin, I am so proud of you. Oh, you are, baby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you hear that? Robin wants you to tell us you you're proud of her. Yeah. That part. T, I, I know you I know you hate these uh real real insightful, emotional grabbing tales of 101 questions that you should ask yourself. But I want to I, I want to know as your friend. Black men gotta start by loving black men. Where's your friend? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I just is genuine. Oh, this is genuine laugh. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, honestly, though, you know, I agree with Robin. I like her answer. I think her answer was like, it was it was enough to cover both of us, you know. 
<laughs> no, and that's why I appreciate you, Robin. You're doing such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to skip. He likes to skip these questions. He likes to skip these questions. Okay, okay. With me, I'm not really expecting my partner to provide anything. I just like for her not to take away. I like for her not to come and destroy my peace. I'm peaceful. I'm happy. I enjoy life. If you ever, if y'all, if y'all follow the homeboys conversation page, I forgot to put that plug in it. Or follow my page. Listen, like y'all know this. I love to travel. I'm, I'm. Trust me. I have a great time by myself. So, all I, all I hope is that she don't come in and take away. Like, um, listen. We could compromise. We could work with this, but just don't take away. That, that's, that's it. I like that. That's it. Okay. So I, I'm take both of y'all answers and put them together. And that's <laughs> what I mean. If y'all want to know my answer, just rewind the live when I post it. And you will hear my answer. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just not. Listen. Wait. He wants, he wants I'm just to explain. Not that, I'm not all in, in touch with all that and stuff. I, I ain't really worried about all Hold that. Up, I'm the type I'm, of. I, you got the first two decks, but I don't think you got this deck. I think I you didn't. need this deck. I did you get that deck. Give it to me. I'm not buying it. Give it to me. You think I, you go buy me that? He needs this deck. I then give it to me. Really, okay. 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 All right. Send me the invoice. There you go, T. That's my gift. Send me invoice. Hey, hey. T gonna get his deck. T gonna get his deck. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna go to see these right here again. The dating 101. This was our first deck, of course. Um, would you date someone who was practicing celibacy but wanted to be intimate, affectionate? Anyway, you know, I have some people who's like, Oh, no, nah, I ain't trying to do nothing. I'm practicing celibacy, but they want to be affectionate around you. T, I can't handle no head. No, <laughs> nothing. She just like to rub and touch and be hugged and felt on and like cuddled and like she wants to sit there and watch romantic Love Jones movies and all that. I don't know about the movies, but I could do that. I go ahead and do that. Okay. I don't know how long it will last. I tried for a little while. How long will it last? I tried for a little while. Okay. But, all right. You know. Yeah, you know, yeah. Permanently you slip and go somewhere. I'm a movie. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I don't know about that. Look. Terrible. Terrible. Robin, you want to go first? Yeah, I'm going to go first. I mean, anybody that knows me and knows just like, I've never been that like sexual person. I mean, now I am. But I I've never been that sexual too. person. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I could. Like, you know, and it's kind of like how I want them. Like, you can kiss on me. You can rub on me, you know, like certain aspects of my body, I won't get too explicit on here, but, you know, like, it's certain things that, like, turn me on without the, the That's actual why you penetration. Need this. I know, because that, I'm going to come to Vegas this week, we finally going to use them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you might have to, I might have to send you a deck over there before your Vegas trip. Right. I actually was in a situation like that some years ago. Yeah? Ayo, O Street Market know about it. It was his, it was his baby mother of uh, people's, and she was saying she was celibate and everything. You know, it worked when we was having phone conversations and whatnot because we wasn't around each other. The first time I got around her, <laughs> that that celibacy wall was broken. Ayo, <laughs> Ayo, Ayo told his baby mother. He said, "You know my, you know my bad in your people's right." And she was like, "No, he not." She's celibate. And Avery was like, shit, I bet, I bet he isn't it. That means celibate. That means she's selling a little bit of it. <laughs> you think I'm going to go all the way out there and not leave with something? I'm leaving, yeah, with, I'm something. leaving with something. <laughs> I'm leaving with something. Yeah. I've been in this situation also. Um, but again, I couldn't. I told the person, I ain't doing this. I ain't, we're not doing this. At that time, of course, I was in my 30s. I was in my mid 30s. I was like, I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm not celibate. Like, we're not going to last. <laughs> but she wanted, she wanted those intimate, like little touchy, filly moments. And I told her, I said, we're going to, if we're going to date and we're going to, you're going to practice this. I don't want these little intimate settings. Let's go out to the movies, cool or whatever, but let's not be all hugged up on the couch looking at some romantic flick. And you thinking I'm not gonna get turned on? I'm supposed to go home and just watch you porn or something? No, that wasn't gonna happen. So I had to cut it off. I had to cut it off. I had to cut it off. Uh, thanks for 
everybody for joining in. Again, go to Daily 101 Card Game. Get y'all a deck. Go get the out the deck, out the dot cards. Go get the ones that T is scared of. The 101 <laughs> cards that you got that you got to ask yourself. And definitely go get the bottoms up for y'all game night. Thanks everybody for joining. See y'all next week. Go follow Disaster Dating 101, uh, Disaster Dating 101 with Robin and Tasha the Creator. Go follow the Homeboys Conversation as well as go follow Dating 101 Car Game. Peace out.